Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to my channel. Oh my goodness, it has been a hot minute since I've been back on YouTube. So much has been going on in my life and so much has happened that I just... Today it was just, I was in my feels, I was just thinking, I was like, you know, I haven't been on YouTube in about nine months now. Like dedicated and truly just want to film. Like um, my previous video was back in like senior prom and like in that time I had legit no time to film videos. I had no time to even sleep sometimes. Um, it was very difficult um, family wise, emotional wise, and just I needed I needed to complete those things before I can say to myself, yeah, I wanted, I want to go back to YouTube. So I decided to just hop back on here and um, do a little chit chat, get ready with me, maybe uh, answer some questions that you guys might have even though you guys haven't asked me or, you know, they're probably too personal to ask. Um, by all means, that's okay, I can answer any of them for you. Um, and yeah, so if you want to, you know, get ready with me, you know, grab a snack, uh, go ahead and just keep on watching. So, I don't even know what I want to, like, do, like, as far as makeup-wise, like, um, I was thinking maybe because it's fall or something, I could do maybe, like, a fall makeup look or something. Because uh, everyone's starting to, you know, jump on that hype train. Because I love fall. I love fall makeup. I love fall everything. Just, my name's Mary, for fuck's sake. Like, I, I can just... Just put me in fall, Scotty. I'm right there. So I was just thinking maybe some some cool fall makeup and um, just do a little chit chat with y'all and uh, yeah. So uh, to start off with like the elephant in the room uh, from the last video you guys probably saw of me, I had braces and now I can finally film and smile and feel good about it because I no longer have braces. Um, I've had them for four and a half years and they were like the staple to my my face like my facial features and my personality like everyone knew me as like the girl who had braces the girl who wore braces like her whole high school life um, and yeah like everyone just knew me with braces like getting them off was almost like getting a little piece ripped out of me if that makes sense like um, it's almost like dyeing your hair or something like that because um, when you dye your hair it's it's just, it changes you. Um, and yeah, so I got them off on September 21st, 2017, and I am on my retainer right now, so y'all can be like, Mary, are you gonna whiten your teeth? Are you doing a retainer? Yeah, yeah, I'm doing a retainer. I'm doing the, the Invisalign one um, for my top one, and then I have a, a wire in the back of my, my bottom teeth um, as like a fixed permanent retainer, I guess. Um, I don't know how that works, uh, quite frankly, I don't want to know, because just getting used to the fact that I don't have braces anymore, I'm just so hyped about that. I ate so much that week, I think I gained like five pounds, because <laughs> uh, your boy had some meals that I couldn't have during my, my period of braces, so it was, it was really, really cool. Alright, so for like makeup wise, um, I already like moisturized my face and um, by the way, I finally got some new brushes. I was just chilling with the typical like eco tools, real techniques, but no shade to those companies because they, they the homie. They, they had my back the first couple years I started getting into makeup. Um, so I have some new Morphe brushes, I have the 15 yeah, the 15 brush set from Vanity Planet. Um, I got that about a couple months ago, and I've been really, really enjoying that. Um, those brushes are cruelty free, and that's that's A plus for me. Um, so yeah, I'll be using some of those brushes today. And um, since I already moisturized, I'm gonna be going in with the Mac Soft Ochre Paint Pot for me eyelids, and I'm gonna take that on like a a flat shader brush from Vanity Planet and just gonna prom my eyelids. Oh man, I missed you guys. Like, it was so difficult, like, you know, wrapping up high school, graduating, and then 
just starting on my life like it was just like so much to take in and I was going through a lot of family troubles and um, just getting used to the fact that I wasn't going to school anymore was just a whole new like learning experience for me and um, yeah so like now that I'm out of school right now um, I I'm not going to college right now. Um, I really don't plan on going to college if I'm until I'm ready. It's not completely out of the question. Um, it's just the fact that I my uncertainty was just too unraveled in that time to where I couldn't see myself sitting in a classroom learning about something and then wasting my time in the end saying I don't know why I did this because I see myself going nowhere from that experience. Um, with getting a degree and whatnot. So, um, yeah, I'm not going to college. So, and then now after I prime my eyes, I'm gonna um, set it with some translucent powder. Well, the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. Um, and then like, so with college, like, it's not completely out of the question. It's just a matter of when I'm ready. And um, I will be soon, it's not like, I'm gonna be like 40 and going back to college. That's that's not the thing. It's just I can't afford it. I just don't see myself doing it. And yeah. <laughs> so like right now, I'm currently I do have a job. I am working for uh, GameStop. So um, in my local area, it's in my local mall over in Palm Desert. Um, I am working there part time. Um, and yeah, it, it's my first job, so it's very, it's very cool, you know, because um, growing up I was very into video games and that was like my huge, like, life when I wasn't being bored and going to school, I was playing video games and I really enjoyed them for the majority of my life and like, yeah, so I just thought to myself, um, GameStop is hiring, holy shit, I gotta put it in nap and like I bugged this shit out of management until they finally gave me an interview and like they really enjoyed like me being that first job person like trainee I guess and um yeah so I've been working there since July and um not gonna lie there are pros and cons to the job so far that I'm experiencing but it's nothing that can't improve um it's mainly like the hours the, the the work the pay you know it's just typical stuff like um being part-time i'm unfortunately getting like as low as five hours a week four and a half hours a week and keep in mind i do have to pay bills now that i'm 18 i can't have my father um you know support me on a regular basis like i'm a kid um, I am an adult now, so I do want to give back and start, you know, taking care of some of the problems in the household, my groceries, my phone bill, um, gas for my car, um, which also got fixed, and that I will talk about later. Um, and yeah, it was just, it's really, it, it helped so far, like it's helping a lot, and yeah, I'm really... I'm really really glad that I got the job there um, and I do hope that I can keep it um, and by all means if I gotta look for something better then I can do that because at GameStop like even though it's four and a half hours a week sometimes like it does come with a lot of work and that's what kind of you know causes conflict in my eyes like you guys are gonna give me a lot of work but not give me enough time to do so but I can I can rant about that another time. I don't want to talk the whole time about my job in this video. Um, so yeah, um, now that I set my eyes and stuff, um, I'm gonna do my eyes first since I'm gonna be doing some fall and stuff. So in case of fallout, I can just wipe it off and uh, no issues with like my foundation and stuff. So um, makeup wise, like I still have the same palettes like. Um, I want to use my Modern Renaissance palette today and my Morphe 35O palette, um, matte and shimmer. Um, and yeah, so I think I'm going to jump into the Morphe palette first. And I'm going to jump in with the um, Morphe M433 brush. And I'm going to jump into this pale shade right here. And. Um, do that for my brow bone.
I typically do my eyes first and then my brows and then my face. That's the routine that I've been typically doing with my makeup. And crazily enough, like I, I haven't been doing my makeup a lot, like in this like time period of YouTube that I've been away. Like I haven't been doing my makeup a whole lot. Like it was my it was my boyfriend's birthday on the first of October and like that was the first time I've done my, my full beat face in like six months. Like I can't believe it. Um so yeah, it's almost like um, I lost I lost my touch a little bit, so yeah. So now that I like did my my brow bone highlight and stuff, um, and set the paint pot a little bit more, um, I'm gonna jump into this shade right here, um, and then do that as like my transition shade. But yeah, I'm so glad I bought new brushes because, you know, me doing makeup and then rocking with like four brushes, bruh, it was like, it was dumb. Um, but yeah, everyone and their mama on YouTube is just ranting and raving of like how good Morphe brushes are, how good um, BH Cosmetic brushes are, like, <laughs> you know, I just felt really, really just dumb, just not you know, saving some time and then saving some cash and purchasing them. Like when I did, I think I, I cried a little bit because it's like a step up in my makeup game. But yeah, um, so after I do that for my transition shade, I'm gonna take the same brush and um, since I'm thinking fall, I'm gonna do um, maybe a little bit of this orange shade right here right in the middle um to you know start outlining my my eye and get some color definition but yeah um like relationship wise i'm still in my current relationship that i previously talked about um we're three and a half years well three years and seven months um to be exact and we're going real good um he's absolutely amazing like he's helped me so much through this um period of time that i've been away and um just wrapping up high school um but yeah he's been really awesome and i just really i was really fortunate enough to have him by my side um it wasn't easy by means no by no means was it easy it was very very difficult um yeah because you know him having his own issues to deal with and then him um being that kind of support for me it was very challenging but he and i we like we we got through it together and um yeah i'm really fortunate to have him and Babe, if you're watching this, I love you. <laughs> um, Alright, so now that I'm done with that, I'm gonna stop and jump into the Modern Renaissance palette. I'm gonna start using this. Um, and like, makeup wise with Anastasia palettes? Oh, sorry, I didn't want to blind you. Um, but yeah, like, with the subculture palette and like a couple others that are coming out with Anastasia, like everyone was so mixed reviews about like the subculture palette and like um, their foundations and um, their glow kits are still pretty, they got hype. And then like they, I really, really, really want to get their matte lipsticks, like, cause I know like the liquid lipstick hype train is kind of, you know, heading home, it's not, it's not getting the full hype no more, and kind of makes me sad, but, you know, it's cool, I'm still rocking some, some my little lipsticks, it's, it's nothing I can't handle. Um, so I'm jumping into the Modern Renaissance palette, and I'm gonna do some warm taupe, and I'm gonna start, um, kind of blending my orange shadows together, and giving it some more, um, definition.
yeah, like, um, going back to, like, Anastasia, like, their, their subculture power, like, everyone was saying, like, how, how bad, like, the kickback was, like, I, you know, I see, I'm touching this palette right now, and it has kickback, like, what palette isn't gonna have kickback? <laughs> um, I just don't see that as, like, a huge deal, you know, and it's just nothing, like, that can't be fixed. Um, and improve with blending and stuff like that's why they even said like these shadows are ultra um, pressed they're ultra satin and they're ultra pigmented <laughs> and Like they explained it perfectly clear to everyone. Well the customer um, Before like everyone started purchasing it and then they started getting mad and stuff like y'all gotta chill out. It's okay um, so now uh, by the way for that uh that brown shade I use, Warm Taupe, I use the M441 brush from Morphe. And now, um, to start with the sunset fall makeup look, I'm gonna um, jump into Relgar. And um, it's the orange shade. And I'm gonna mix it with red ochre. And I'm gonna start aiming that toward my whole eye, just dragging it along and stuff. And yeah I think that the the red ochre shade is my favorite shade in the whole palette like it's so pretty good cat um so to get like a little bit back into like my life and stuff um I'm currently living with my dad um unfortunately back in well, I'll just say like nine months ago, um, my mother and father separated um, for all the right reasons, let's just say that, even though it was a messy, messy separation, um, it needed to happen. And by all means, I'm not going to sit here and drag my mother because I'm not living with her. Um, just take it like that, that I'm living with my father and not my mother. So. Um, I don't want to get into full detail, you know, I'll just keep it just simple as that. I'm not living with my mother anymore. She moved out. Um, and yeah, so it's just me and my dad and he's, he's, he's happy. He's happy right now. Um, the first month and a half, like after the separation, like it was really, I know it like, it took a real emotional toll on him and me. Um, because he knew that I was still in school when she moved away, um, that like he had to take the ball and him being 67 and doing that, like it took a lot on him. <clears throat> and that's why he always just kept telling me, um, Mary, when you're out of school, I, I really need you to start looking for work and um, start helping me out, you know? Um, and then when I told him that I didn't want to go to college, he was like, thank God, um, because that also is a reason why I didn't want to go to college, because I knew that if I applied and I went to college, I wouldn't be the only one paying for it, and I didn't want to do that to my dad, that he would be paying for my studies after he's done so much for me in school in general. So it's just like, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do college for that. It College is never going to go away. You get me? Um, and yeah. So I'm just going to keep packing that on. And um, I know it looks a little crazy right now, but it's nothing like a clean blending brush can do. And then I'll just go on top here and clean it up. But yeah, I want a real sultry kind of sunset look. So that is that is the only like personal kind of spiel. Um, so it's nothing, nothing insane, you know. Families sometimes they have to separate before they find closure and um, just answers to like whatever's going on and whatever's bothering them and everything. Um, like 
I can go into more detail with that, but I don't want to start crying. I don't want to get into my feels again. This is my coming back video. Um, I don't want to get into that, but if you guys want to know the truth, then tell me. Then leave me, leave me feedback below. Leave me a comment down below. Um, and yeah, because that is just a whole nother story in a nutshell that I can't technically just put in one video right now because so much has happened these nine months with that and that is just too much so leave me let me know down below or on my social media if you want to know like a story time like why my parents separated then just let me know all right so now that i'm done with uh my my uh reddish orange smokiness um i'm gonna go in with the with a wet and wild um, crease brush and I'm gonna jump into Love Letter. Um, that is the pinky shade. Um, I'm gonna mix that with Venetian Red and then I'm just gonna top off the excess and then just start aiming that toward the outer part of my eye and just kind of start packing it on even though it's a crease brush. like. Everyone is so picky with like their brushes like don't pack on with a crease brush use a flat shader brush like no <laughs> No, this is a crease brush, but if I want to pack on color with it, I'm gonna do so So yeah So I'm gonna just blend and pack. That's my technique But yeah, um, so that that was like the main part of what's been going on and like why I've been away um, is because of that wrapping up school and um, everything and like just going back to like my parents separating um, it's happened before um, they have gone through a divorce but Fall is here, ladies and gentlemen. I am so hyped. Thank God. Um, I hate summer. Like, <laughs> I live down here in the valley, and it's just, it's just so bad. Like, it peaks 120, 125, and I'm just sitting here like, Mother Nature, you, you good? Like, what's going on? Um, and like, as I'm filming this right now, like, it's, um, I think it's like 75 outside. Oh my god, <sighs> where's my sweaters? <laughs> um, so yeah, and then now I'm gonna go back into that first brush I used, the M441 brush, and then I'm gonna go into the shade Cypress Umber in the Modern Renaissance palette, and then I'm going to start um, taking this on the outer part of my eye just to give it a little bit more contrast because I don't want it to be completely sunset it's fall <laughs> so yeah um so like Let's go to a new topic, like YouTube. Um, my plans right now is to start uploading as much as I can for you guys so that it's there for you guys to watch. It's there for you guys by all means because while I was away, I noticed just from my last video that 144 people watched it still.
in my room, but I turned mine off right now because it's ambiance now, like I said. Um, so like, when we have the fans on, we like to turn up the TV because we can't fucking hear it. So, yeah. Fine, I just fucking dropped dead and y'all were just like, where, where, where'd you go? Where you at though? And uh, yeah, so I'm done with my eyes, like, it's a sultry, smoky sunset fall look that I'm just doing. It's all matte, I'm not putting no shimmer, maybe a little bit in my inner corner, but okay. So now I'm gonna do my brows, um, I'm gonna jump in with the dip brow by Anastasia and mine is in medium brown but y'all gonna be like wait you're blonde though I don't know dog like um like my my brow hairs are like black but my fucking hair is like blonde I'm confused um but I'm perfectly fine with that because I've tried like a lot of brow products um for like typically blonde girls and like it's just it's too light it's too red it's too orange it's probably as orange as this fucking eyeshadow so it just it confuses me a lot and I'm not gonna fill in too much because my brows over the last few months have upgraded a ton as you can see um I mean after I fill them not like right now because <laughs> they look pretty they're pretty whack um my brow hairs they typically grow really fast so um when i get them done um yeah like it's it's insane <laughs> okay so i kind of stopped my camera and i just did my brows anyway because i couldn't talk and do my brows at the same time so um uh, i finished my brows so i'm gonna set them with the benefit brow gel um the gimme brow <laughs> Um, this stuff is cool, like, I haven't been the, the type of, um, brow gel kind of gal, cause my brows just kind of did whatever the fuck they wanted to do, so, yeah, um, this gimme brow is in the shade 3, yeah, I think it's in the shade 3, yeah, 3, and this stuff is like, it's like glue. Um, y'all like the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel, but I just, I don't see myself paying $23 for that, so. Yeah, so now that I'm done with my eyes and my brows, um, I already primed earlier, so I'm gonna just jump into the face. Um, so, now that, um, I talked about most of what happened, and while I was away, um, and yeah, so pretty much my plans for YouTube is be more consistent um, and just just keep on it, you know. I will let you know next time when I'm gonna be away and I'll never leave you guys hanging. So I pinky promise, like, we'll never just jump ship like that again because I mean, I, I had no choice. Like, I just, I couldn't do YouTube in that kind of state of mind that I was in the last few months um, but I'm, I'm so much better now I'm so much more happy with myself I'm much more just confident and proud and especially without my braces I'm a whole new person so I'm, I'm very excited like I can't believe 2017 is almost over um, it's just it's October already and it's just like Christmas where you at <laughs> um, so yeah, now I'm gonna jump into the face. Um, I am not gonna do foundation because I already wore foundation and my skin's kinda, it's having a day. So I'm gonna just, just do a little bit of coverage with some concealer. So I'm gonna do the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and I'm gonna cover up some blemishes and a little bit under the eye. Um, fix up my, 
fix up my uh, my eyes. I wanted it to be a little bit more crisp. And yeah. So, and then I'm gonna take that with a a flat shader, not flat shader, like a flat top brush. Mine is from Vanity Planet. Um, this brush, though, like it's it's so underrated. Like, um, like it's it's really good. Like it's so soft. Like, it's like come on, that's insane. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I'm just gonna blend that out really quick. Um, and yeah, like my skin right now, it's about combo to to dry skin, and like it's very it's very different so but by no means am I not not happy with my skin I love my skin it's it's uh and being that I am you know I'm all natural I'm not doing any kind of lip enhancements I'm not doing no cheek fillers and shit this is all natural and um yeah, so I'm very proud of myself for how like my face looks and my facial features. Like I just don't see myself getting um, lip plumpers and shit like that. Like it's just like, come on, bro. Like you really don't like yourself that much. Um, it's just where the lines of more confidence in yourself. And yeah, so I'm not against lip fillers or injections and like plastic surgery. Um, if you really need it and when you want it that bad, go for it, boo. I am all for plastic surgery. Um, will I do it? No. No, I don't see myself going under the knife for that kind of um, ordeal. So, um, and then I'm gonna set my face because I did my my concealer with the Rimmel Saint Matte Powder. I love this stuff. Like, I just, I'm obsessed. And I'm gonna take this fluffy brush from Vanity Planet. This ain't sponsored, by the way, so... I mean, Vanity Planet wanna hit me up. That's a whole other story. <laughs> um, and going on to that, like, I am... As you can see, I only have 77 subscribers. I don't have a million or a thousand or 15,000. Um, so I'm not sponsored by any means. Um, I am not looking for that as my goal for YouTube. My goal for YouTube is to spread love and positivity and my love for makeup and my love for fashion and just my personal interests on this channel. So I just don't see myself being that typical um, walking sponsor so but if I want to sponsor something that I like I will you know so yeah um and I want a bronze today um I just I don't see myself bronze like I got a little bit of a tan over the summer but I, I just don't see myself you know bronze in every 40 seconds so um for Highlight, I'm going to go into the Morphe palette. You know, you're like, what the fuck? Um, and then I'm gonna take my Morphe. My Morphe, where are you? Oh, the uh, Morphe M501 brush. This is probably a lot of beauty gurus' favorite um, highlighting brush. And I'm gonna go in with this shade right here. And I'm gonna take a little bit and mix it with the shade above it and tap off a lot of it because this bitch is just powerful AF. And I'm just gonna swipe that along my cheeks. And yeah, it just gives like really nice sheen and um, has a little bit of um, glitter in it, but that's okay. I'm not a I'm not a fan of glitter and highlights, but if you got it, you gotta do what you gotta do. So I ain't mad. <laughs> Did you hear my dad in the background? <laughs> yeah, um, hockey season is back, so um, many of y'all be watching football, but the Johnston residents, we be watching hockey, so don't at me. <laughs> but yeah. Um, 
I've been really enjoying like a nice like glowy skin um I'm not into the whole like matte lifestyle so um I'm a little bit extra with my highlights so it's okay by all means pack it on boo if you don't want to do the face only using highlight challenge go for it I can do that I will do that by all means no tea no shade and then I'm gonna do a little bit of highlight um, above my brow because um, that gives my my faux head my five head I think it's a five head yeah <laughs> Um, a little bit more um, slimness, but a little bit of glow. Yeah, so yeah, and then uh, a little bit on my chin. I don't do highlight on my cupid bow no more because um, just my lipstick just covers it anyway. So just a little bit on my chin and yeah. and. I'm gonna put that brush away and take the uh, brush that I was using, um, the uh, M573 from Morphe, and um, just take whatever is left of it and do it underneath my uh, lower lash line um, because this bitch still has a lot of product as you can see, so just gonna go underneath my eye. Yeah. Oh no, it's not on the product. <laughs> I have to be careful doing like lower lash line stuff because I always put my eye. I don't know why I do, but I just do it anyway, so yeah. Um, that's fucking insane, but nothing like a little mascara and uh, yeah, a little bit of uh, inner corner highlight. So I'm gonna do that right now. So I'm gonna take my pinky finger. Um, go into the Modern Renaissance palette and take Vermeer and just boop, bam. Come here. Do it to the other side. So that way, shiny. And then pop this onto my brow bone as well. So yeah, I hope a lot of people's school year is going well, um, being that I am graduated, it's very different for me, um, to be out of school while most of my, um, my friends, uh, are underclassmen, um, and yeah, I just, I miss my little underclassmen, you guys were awesome last year, you guys made my year so much better, and now for mascara, um, I'm Clark. I'm gonna curl my lashes with my eyelash curler from Revlon and a bit. Um, cause you know what? I'm gonna do false lashes. I'm, I'm feeling false lashes today. So I'm just gonna curl my lashes, um, do a little bit of Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. I believe that. <laughs> JK. <laughs> but yeah. Just do a lot of coats because my eyebrows can grow so much but my freaking eyelashes are just like non-existent like where um so I gotta pack her on it's okay no tea no shade but if y'all got like treatments and stuff that y'all do um but I'm down for a lash extension like I'm down for that um but just going under the knife is just like why though <laughs> but yeah um okay so now I'm done with the eyes and I'm gonna jump off camera real quick because I cannot do false eyelashes on camera because I will mess up all right and I'm back so um I popped on the Ardell 160 lashes um they're probably my favorite lashes that are fucking dramatic and just wild and beautiful and uh yeah it's been a hot minute since I put on lashes so I'm doing it, I'm doing these lashes. So um and for glue I use the Ardell strip lash. The Ardell, the um 
the Kiss Strip Lash Adhesive with Aloe. Um, I think the Aloe, like, it's kind of useless in my opinion, but I think it does something with my eyes. Like, it doesn't burn the fuck out of my eyes when I use them. So, and then now I'm going to find my eyeliner that I love to use. Um, and it's by Estee Lauder. It is the Cajol Eye Pencil um, in black. And I'm gonna tight line my, the top of my eye. So like, the, the fakes have something to, I guess blend with the bottom, with my real ones. I gotta be careful of not poking my eye because I do that all the time. And then, um, then I'm gonna take it on like the bottom because this, this fucking eyeliner is like it's insane how pigmented this is. Um, and then I'm gonna kind of smudge it out a little bit, make it a little bit more smoky. Cause I'm feeling a, a dark smoky eye. I'm, I'm down. I'm down for that. And then I try not to tug on my eye cause premature wrinkles. <laughs> and um, then I'm gonna take a smudger brush. I'm going to take the a Say Lauder smudger brush. It looks like this. It's like really small. Um, not a lot of people use it, but I think it works really well for like underneath the lash line and like smoking. So I'm gonna take my eyeliner and like smoke the shit out of it and see what I can do with that. Yeah, see how much better that looks? Like, it doesn't look like it's just dead ass underneath my, um, my waterline, so, like, it looks a little bit more smoky. So, yeah. Like, this brush is super soft, so you can almost, like, touch your eye with it, but don't. <laughs> don't listen to me. But, yeah. And it should look something like that. And then if you want to get a little bit crazy, you add a little bit more and uh, do whatever the fuck you want. Because it's fall, man. You can do, you can wear, you can wear drag makeup, you know. Um, I want to learn how to do drag makeup. Like, I was so inspired by, like, um, a couple of um, YouTubers I watched um, a while ago. Like, I think one of them was, it was Patrick Starr and, um... One other, I just, I can't think of the name. It's not Jeffree Star, because Jeffree hasn't done, like, a lot of drag makeup, so. Um, but that's okay, so. Um, but yeah, it was, like, Patrick Star and, like, somebody else, like, he did drag on himself, and, like, holy shit, that looks so unique and so beautiful. Like, I want to learn how to do that. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go find a lip color, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I found an oldie but a goodie. Um, this was one of my favorite lipsticks that I wore like a while back and homie, <laughs> homie. This is like, this screams fall. Um, this is the Anastasia liquid lipstick in Ashton. Um, I haven't worn like a liquid lipstick or like just lipstick in general. Like I wore a lip gloss um, and one of them I can tell you right now, it was from NYX. It was like the shade Madeline. Um, I just, I wore that like every day, like to work and shit, so. But I'm really excited to see how this looks with no braces. Um, and yeah, no lip liner, by the way. I, I don't know why people use lip liner if, I mean, if you got like pigmented lips, like you don't really need a lip liner unless 
the shades patchy anyway then like you can always use a little bit of like concealer or something just to you know discolor your your colored lips if that makes sense but yeah But yeah, like, I always been together. And then I always try to not overline, but always just perfect my cupid's bow. So, yeah, it looks something like this. And wow, it looks, looks so good. What the heck? Um, and yeah, so... I'm gonna do a little bit of spray, um, I don't have a setting spray, so I just take whatever I have and some water and like this, and I feel like I just don't need to buy a setting spray, you feel me, like I, I just, I don't know, um, yeah it's just nothing like a little water can fix, like, I'll just keep going all day, <laughs> I'm just playing. Um, but yeah, so this is the final makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I love it. Um, it was completely just free-handed. I don't know what the fuck I was doing. Um, thank you guys so much for all the love and support that you guys have been doing on my videos while I've been out. Um, by all means, this is not a goodbye. This is a see you next Friday or Saturday. Um, by my cover photo on my channel, as you can see. Um, I want to go back to that. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this look. Thank you guys so much for watching. And, yeah, so like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.